Hello again, and welcome to Section 2, Introducing Yee's Development Tools. In this section, we will learn how to use Yee to generate code templates for our models, views, and controllers. We will also take a look at the Yee Debug Module. So let's move on to the first video of this section, Configuring and Using Yee. We'll take a look at exactly what Yee is, why we will want to use it, and how to configure it. As you may already be aware, Yee implements the Model View Controller pattern. When using an MVC-based framework, developers often spend a lot of time copying and pasting common code and then editing it to meet the requirements of a specific application feature. This process is both time-consuming and error-prone. With GUI, we can use a web-based interface to quickly generate model, view, and controller code that is tailored to our needs. Once we get GUI configured, we'll go ahead and take a brief look at its features. As you can easily imagine, a tool that can generate code on the server represents a security risk in the hands of unauthorized users, so Yee's authors wisely chose to require us to explicitly set some configuration options in order to access it. The Gee tool is located in the Gee subdirectory of your site. But you'll see if we try to access it that we get a 403 forbidden error. That's because Gee only allows requests from localhost by default but because our application is running on a Vagrant server, our host and guest machines use separate IP addresses. In order to allow access to GUI, we simply need to add the IP address of our host machine to the GUI configuration. To find your host machine IP address, create a new file in the web root called ip.php and echo the remote address value of the server superglobal. If we pull this script up in our browser, we'll see that our IP address is 192.168.56.1. Remember to delete this file before moving to production. Now, we simply need to add this IP address to our configuration. Go ahead and open up web.php and scroll down to line 59. You'll see that this section of the config is wrapped in an if statement that only runs if the site is in development mode, which is another layer of security so that key will be totally inaccessible in production mode from any source. Simply edit the configuration section as follows in order to add your IP address. Now, switch back to your browser and reload GUI. You'll see that we're greeted warmly by the magical tool that can write code for you. On first glance, you will notice that GUI can be used to generate models, views, and controllers. It can also be used to quickly scaffold out forms, modules, and extensions. In this course, we will use the model generator as well as the CRUD generator to generate the bulk of the code for our application. Now you know what GUI is and how to set it up. Up next, we will look more closely at the process of generating model code, as well as some of the key features of models in Yee 2.